In this video, we're going to take a look at how to do some basic editing in Word. Um, probably the simplest editing to do is simply delete a mistake. And if you press the delete key, which I'm going to do right now, delete uh, and deletes whatever is to the right of the cursor, so the R should go away. And um, my favorite command in Word is the, the undo command, and the keyboard shortcut for that is Control Z. So I just did a Control Z to bring the R back. And the backspace key uh, deletes to the left of the cursor, so the A goes away, and I'm going to do Control Z here again to bring that back. Um, if you uh, if you select a lot, of, I'm going to select the entire paragraph here and hit the backspace key, uh, and then do a Control Z again. Or if I select it all and hit the delete key, uh, it doesn't really matter which one you do if you've got something selected before you do uh, the backspace or delete. Um, if you're in uh, some other programs, though, um, it does make a difference. If you're in Excel, for example, it, uh, backspace and delete do not always do the same thing. So let's do a Control Z to bring that back. And uh, then we're going to look at uh, probably the three most useful uh, keyboard shortcuts in uh, in Word, uh, and because they're not only in Word, but they're in lots of other applications. Every Windows application I know of uh, uses these three keyboard shortcuts. Uh, we're looking at shortcuts for cut, copy, and paste. So if I want to cut the selected text, it's Control X, and you remember that because X looks like a scissor, so I'm going to do Control X right now. And it cuts out the text, and where does it go? It goes to the clipboard. And you can't really see the clipboard, but that's where things go when you cut them out. And uh, if something is on the clipboard and you do a paste command, and the keyboard shortcut for that is Control V, it will paste in what was ever on the keyboard or on the clipboard. And so my text is, is back. I've got that first paragraph back again. Now, if I do Control V again to paste a second time, um, I get the paragraph again. And because I did it inside of the paragraph mark, uh, it all became one paragraph. I'm going to hit Enter here. And then we go down to the beginning of this line and do a control V again. And you can paste it in as many times as you want to uh, until you do another cut or a copy command uh, to put something else on the clipboard instead. Now I'm going to do a control Z here a few times to get back to where I was before. Okay, now we're back to our original document. And uh, I'm going to uh, select this first paragraph again. And this time I'm going to do a control C, which stands for copy. Control C uh, works like cut, except it leaves the text there, and it also makes a copy of it on the clipboard, whereas cut deletes the text and puts a copy of it on the clipboard. Now, if I go down to the beginning of this paragraph, this stuff is on the clipboard, so if I do a Control V, uh, it'll paste that paragraph in, and if I do that several times, uh, I'll get the same thing. I'm going to do Control Z here twice to undo. And uh, the other keyboard shortcut that comes in handy sometimes is if uh, you do a, a formatting command, let's say I'm make this entire paragraph um, italic. This probably isn't the greatest example because there's a, you know, a keyboard shortcut for italic as well. But um, if you want to repeat the last formatting command, let's get rid of that pop-up uh, toolbar there, and do a control Y and it will repeat the last formatting command. You've got to be careful because if you do something else in between, um, then it's going to repeat that something else, uh, not, what, uh, not what you did before that. So uh, that comes in handy if you find yourself going through and reformatting uh, a document and you've got several different places in the document where you need to make the same change. Uh, you can do Control-Y to do that. Um, one other thing that's kind of related here is, uh, let's make a few more changes here. So it's italic. Uh, let's make it uh, bold, and let's make it red. Okay. Uh, so I've got red, bold, italic text, and I've also got you know some margin settings here. Now yeah, let's do that too. We'll pull the uh, margin in half an inch on this side. We'll pull it in half an inch on this side. And uh, so now we've got this text here. Um, and it took me several formatting commands to get that. And if I want to get something else in my document to look exactly the same way, all I need to do is click in the document and go up here on the Home tab to the Format Painter. And the Format Painter um, basically lets you paint some existing formatting on 
another part of your document. So if I click on the Format Painter right now, um, the cursor started out in the red text here, so that's your paint. And clicking on this basically dips the paintbrush into the paint. And then the mouse turns into uh, a little eye beam with a paintbrush next to it. And if I drag the mouse over, let's drag it over this paragraph here, this paragraph is going to look exactly like the one up above. Uh, it's red, it's bold, it's italic. Uh, the left margin is indented half an inch and the right margin is indented half an inch. So if you want to copy lots of things, uh, you can use the Format Painter. Now, um, you may notice that the paintbrush is no longer there. Uh, so the Format Painter lets you apply the formatting once uh, and then it turns itself off. Now what if you've got several things that you want to format like that? Let me click in here so I'm in my formatting paint. Now double click on the Format Painter and now let's scroll down here and I'm going to drag the mouse over that stuff and I'm going to go down you see it's still pushed in and I'm going to drag the mouse over this stuff and I can drag the mouse over this stuff and I can continue to do that until I turn the Format Painter off by clicking on the button up here once again. So uh, those are some simple formatting commands in uh, Word 2013. And the neat thing about uh, most of them is cut, copy, paste, uh, control Z, control Y also work in most um, Windows applications. Okay, let's take a look at one more thing here. Uh, this is not using the keyboard, this is using the mouse. Uh, if you want to uh, take something and move it, uh, you could do a cut and move the cursor and then do a paste or let's say I just want to move this down one paragraph I can just click and drag it and drop it uh, just like you can in most uh, Windows applications so you can uh, that's another option for editing text in Word